So we're going to start with the chambers. We will do right atrium, that's the one. We will do right ventricle, that's the four. Over here we'll do left, left atrium, that's the seven. And we will do left ventricle, that's the six. And um, the two here is the right um, oracle of the, the right ventricle. And here is the left oracle, the left ventricle. And we'll move here and grab some vessels. This is the pulmonary trunk, okay? It splits into a, this the A represents the right pulmonary artery, and B is the left pulmonary artery. And then blood comes back to the heart via the pulmonary veins. Two for the left, two back here for the right. And then <clears throat> emptying or bringing blood back to the right atrium, we have the superior vena cava, I'm sorry, excuse me, inferior vena cava. The superior vena cava, which has two branches here, and brachiocephalic, okay, coming in from the right, I'm sorry, right and the left. And then there's an azygous vein back here. And then we also have blood coming into that right atrium via the coronary sinus here. Um, the aorta here has um, three parts labeled, the ascending aorta, the arch of the aorta, and the descending aorta. And then the branches here that we label are the common carotids here, right common carotid, left common carotid, right subclavian, left subclavian, right um, internal mammary um, artery, and left internal mammary. And then this is that brachiocephalic trunk that then separates on the right side into the subclavian and the common carotid. And then for coronary circulation, um, we will do this right coronary artery, we labeled the marginal coronary arteries. Um, we've got the left coronary artery, the anterior interventricular branch of the left coronary artery, the circumflex branch of the left coronary artery. Then we can come back here and do the great coronary, I mean cardiac vein, the small cardiac vein, and that middle cardiac vein. Um, let's see, go back up here. We can do um, this um, ligamentum arteriosum. Um, we can come in the right atrium and do pectinate muscle here. Down here, this is trabeculae carni. In the right atrium, we have the fossa ovalis. We have the valve for the coronary sinus here, 57. We have the valve for the inferior vena cava. That one is 34. Um, we have uh, other valves as well. Here's the bicuspid, I'm sorry, not bicuspid, tricuspid valve. It's papillary muscles, okay? The red represents the papillary muscles. And then the strings are the cordy tendini. And then we have the pulmonary SL, or semilunar valve. And back here, we have the aortic um, SL valve, and then this is the tricusp, I'm sorry I did it backwards again, the bicuspid or mitral valve with the cusps and the papillary muscles and the cordy tendini on that one. I think that's it. Did we leave anything off? Let's see, and then we did the apex, the apex of the heart here, adipose tissue, okay, here. I think that's it.